Most of the major Android phones of early 2020 are launched and available at this point, and so if you're craving an upgrade, there is plenty of choice out there. As ever, we've rounded up the top Android phones in all the major categories that matter, so let's take a look at what's hot in the Android world at the start of summer 2020. The Galaxy S20 Ultra is enormous and expensive, and the standard S20 might be a little on the small side for many buyers, so this year the sweet spot for Samsung flagships is the Galaxy S20 Plus, and that's why it occupies the most coveted spot of best flagship phone for most people. It has the same core experience as all Samsung's other 2020 flagships, with a slick and expansive 120Hz display, plus a very capable triple camera setup combining an upgraded main sensor, 64 megapixel telephoto, and a fantastic ultra-wide option. Add to that wireless charging, pleasant software, and a solid track record for Android security updates, and you've got one of the best phones of the year. Oppo's impressive new Find X2 Pro won't be launching in the US, but if you live in Europe or Asia, this one's definitely worth a look, matching Samsung's top-end flagships in many areas, and even beating it in a few. There's a gorgeous curved screen design and back panel options including ceramic and vegan leather that's paired with a display that goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Samsung's 120Hz offerings with the same resolution and slick refresh rate. Plus, Oppo's triple camera array boasts an impressive 5x zoom, which is something you won't find on Samsung's smaller flagships. The OnePlus 8 Pro is the most expensive OnePlus phone yet, but it still represents great value when considered alongside the competition. Once again, you've got an impressive big-screened phone with a 120Hz refresh rate and QHD Plus resolution. OnePlus's cameras are better than ever, matching the Galaxy S20 in most areas, though you'll miss out on some camera software features and telephoto zoom quality, but that's made up for by the company's speedy new wireless warp charge technology and what's arguably the best Android software experience outside of a Pixel. Google's Pixel 4 series arrived to a fairly lukewarm reception late last year, but the phones have been improving considerably over the past few months. Not only does the Pixel series still have some of the most cohesive Android software out there, but Google also still leads the pack in terms of computational photography. As well as the legendary HDR Plus photography we've enjoyed on every Pixel phone so far, you also get Google's Night Sight for some of the best nighttime shots around, plus the really impressive astrophotography mode if you've got a tripod and a clear sky. But it's still, the Google Pixel series has seen some pretty significant price reductions in recent months, so it is possible to get hold of either a Pixel 4 or 4XL for a lot less than their expensive launch prices. The baby Galaxy S20 proves you don't have to sacrifice power for pocketability. It's based around the same powerful platform as the S20+, Plus, with the same camera setup, save for the depth-sensing rear camera. But that's really a very minor omission. If you're picking up a standard S20, you care about a fast screen, a gorgeous design, and a generous colour palette. And you won't be wanting for battery life either, thanks to the 4000 mAh cell inside, which is a really decent number for a small phone. Even though so much of the attention at the high end goes towards mammoth handsets like the S20 Ultra, the vanilla Samsung Galaxy S20 shows the potential of a pint-sized portable. The Galaxy Fold 2 might be just a few months away, but at the moment our top spot for foldables goes to its flip phone inspired cousin, the Galaxy Z Flip. It's certainly not cheap, at just shy of $1400 in the States, and you'll need to make do with only two rear cameras, a Snapdragon 855 processor as opposed to the 865 used in most of the phones on this list, and a smaller battery as well. But no other phone offers the versatility and pocketability of the Z Flip, while also delivering a big, tall, highly usable screen in a really stylish package. If you long for the days when phones were both powerful and flippy, and you don't want to wait for the next generation fold, the futuristic Z Flip is the handset for you. With the Pixel 4a imminent, this one's a bit of a tough call. Nevertheless, the serious discounts available on last year's Google Pixel 3a make it a really fantastic budget offering even in mid-2020. You get Google's famed Pixel software experience built around the Google Assistant, along with fast software updates for the next two years. Many of the benefits of more expensive Pixel phones can be had in the 3a at a fraction of the price, and that includes the phenomenal Pixel camera. In the 3a, it's largely indistinguishable from the more expensive Pixel 3, a flagship phone that's just a few months older. Wait if you like for the Pixel 4a, but even after that phone launches, it's unlikely to be as cheap as the 3a is right now. That's it for now, stay tuned for our coverage of upcoming Android phones like the Note 20 and Pixel 4a, and subscribe so you don't miss our future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.